guys ready for the mayor? Yeah! yeah. Woo -hoo. Yes, we are! Yes! Alright! Yes. Awesome! Yes! Our mayor! Come on! Woo hoo! Yes! Yeah. 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 What I like about this is that every year it continues to grow and grow and grow. So yes. hopefully next year we'll even see more people here. But, but thanks for coming out. I got my grandkids here, my daughters are here. Uh, as we normally do, and, and thanks for inviting me, Main Street and, and the Public Library. Uh, as we normally do, you get your choice of what books. I get a couple books that I want to read automatically. You got to put up with those. But uh, let's talk about what books we want to hear most. And what what are we celebrating? Easter. So we've got a couple books. We got Looking for Easter. We got Story of the Easter Bunny. All right, I hear that one. Okay, so you want to do that? You might want to hear "Looking for Easter." How about Minerva Louise and the Colored Eggs? Oh yes. Okay, that's one. That one. <laughs> it's right. a contender. <laughs> got a lot of books here. Colored Eggs. Easter parade. We just had an Easter parade out here. Did you all go to the parade? Yeah. Okay, okay, we can't read all these now. Oh no. Hey, what? How about Max's chocolate chicken? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see! I can see! I can see! Oh, we got Max Counts' chickens. <laughs> and some chocolate went over. Okay, that was that good. That was good. That was good. Piggy Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! The girls went for that. We're going to start reading that. Piggy Bunny! Piggy Bunny will start with. Am I supposed to be reading out loud? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. All right, let's see here. Well, Piggy Bunny, his name is Liam. Liam was just like all the other piglets, except for one thing. So I read upside down. Liam tried to practice hopping. He tried to enjoy salad. And he tried to deliver eggs. You are a terrific piglet, said Liam's mom. We love your squiggly tail and your little black eyes and your snouty nose and your adorable triangular ears. Does anybody have triangular ears? Do you have triangular ears? <laughs> well, you are perfect, said Liam's dad, just exactly the way you are. Just exactly the way I am, said Liam, is like a piglet who is going to be the Easter Bunny. Bunny? Asked Liam's grandpa, did this piglet just say he's a bunny? The Easter Bunny, Liam explained. Oh, said grandpa. He doesn't look like a bunny to me, said one of the neighbors. All the pigs and piglets stared at Liam. He didn't look like a bunny to any of them. Of course he doesn't look like a bunny, said Liam's dad. He looks like a perfect piglet. Can you say perfect piglet? Perfect piglet. Exactly. He looks like a perfect piglet. And he doesn't have to try to be anything else, said Liam's mom. He's our piglet, and we love him. Liam felt loved. But he also felt sad. Everybody was sure he could never be the Easter Bunny. Liam knew they were wrong, though. And he wondered a little bit, what if they were right? Liam sighed. This is the kind of problem, he said, that is called heartbreaking. Baloney. Didn't he ever say to mom and dad, baloney? Probably not a good thing, is it? Yeah, you don't want to say baloney to mom or dad. Baloney, said Liam's grandma. They just had the imagination of a lumquat. Kumquat. A lot of them. She shook her large head. Go put on your Easter bunny suit, Liam. Then they'll see. Liam blinked his sad little eyes. But grandma, he said, I don't have an Easter bunny outfit. Seen this before, <laughs> While he waited for his Easter Bunny to suit, 
While I was waiting for a decent running suit to arrive, Liam practiced hopping and enjoying salad and delivering eggs. He got pretty good at it. The salad remained a bit of a challenge for him. When his suit finally arrived, Liam tried it on. It was a bit tight in some places and big in other places. And one of the long bunny ears had trouble standing up straight, even after Grandpa fiddled with it and put some wire inside of it. Grandpa's can fix things sometimes, can't they? Also, it was very itchy, his costume. Liam looked in the mirror. He didn't notice the string hanging down in front of his snout, or the wobbly ear, or the too long sleeve, or the seam coming open a tiny bit across his belly. He even stopped noticing the itch. Because what he saw in the mirror looked back at him. Looking back at him, it was Liam, the Easter Bunny. Liam had worked hard to be the Easter Bunny, and people were very proud of Liam, and he became the Easter Bunny. Liam smiled and whispered, yes. Off he hopped, delivering eggs. Liam.